Hi guys, good evening, welcome. Thank you for joining me. So tonight we are going to talk about this really inexpensive tumbler. So before we get started though, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe. I appreciate the support for growing my channel. So what I wanted to bring to you is this really inexpensive but super nice cup. So I did this one. I have a Secret Santa gift exchange and you know we have a dollar limit that we're supposed to spend on it. So I am you know doing this cup. I haven't the top's not on it because I still have to clean you know clean it out but I'm going to do this and then I have some tea to go along with it and then like a couple of her favorite treats and I'm just going to put it all together in a basket. So with this, if you are like me, I get asked through the holidays to make cups for so many people and, you know, and I like to do it. It can get really expensive though. So I'm always looking for, you know, finding a good deal on my cups so that it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to give them to people as presents. So this cup is from Walmart. It's a dollar ninety six. Now this is the same cup except this one is just a hair bigger as you can see but I wanted to show you both I I have one done and then um you know one for you to see I just want to show you both because I know not everybody has a dollar tree so this one is from the dollar tree it's a dollar and then this one is from Walmart it's a dollar 96 so both you know very affordable to be able to make a nice cup and it's still a stainless tumbler of course you can always do the plastic you know cups as well I do have um, some videos on those but if you want to still do a stainless tumbler this works really really nice and having the black and the stainless I did go ahead and do a you know base coat of white on it first and then I did my glitter and I'll have a video to follow um, attached with this that you know just shows some of the doing you know doing this cup but as you can see it turned out really really nice just as nice as it does on any expensive tumbler And it's a nice gift so you know depending on whether or not you have a, a dollar tree your dollar 96 at walmart or a dollar dollar tree so all right well listen i hope that you find this video helpful and i hope that you have a very beautiful and blessed rest of the night thank you for joining me and again if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks. We'll see you later. For this tumbler, I did Elaine's Tacky Glue Method, which is one of my favorite methods to do. So I cleaned the, the tumbler, prepped it, and gave it a base paint of white. For the tacky glue, you use Elaine's tacky glue, you mix it with water. I like to make it a pancake batter consistency. Don't get too hung up on the consistency. It's gonna dry regardless, but a pancake batter dries rather quickly, works well. So when you're using the Elaine's tacky glue, you're going to put your tacky glue over your cup. So you can do this one of two ways, and I do it both ways, really just depending on 
my mood for the day. So you can put your glue on, your glue mixture, and you can let it sit for about 20 minutes, then put your glitter on, and then after that, you can burnish it in. So that's the rubbing in of the glitter. That's how you get it to lay nice and flat. And that's what you saw me doing in the beginning of this video. The other way is you can go ahead and put your glitter on right away and then let it sit for about 20 minutes and do the same thing. It works either way. So really depends on you and how you'd like to do it. So as you can see on this tumbler, my initial glitter application after I burnished it in there were a few spots that you know the glitter kind of came up and I had to do a second coat of glitter which is fine I always do a second coat of glitter anyways that's just what I prefer to do However, even after prepping the cup and painting it, it's still that first coat. There was a little bit to be had for it sticking completely well. Now, I haven't tried this particular cup with the epoxy method to see if it does hold any better. However, I will do the epoxy method with this Dollar Tree one that I have and see if that works any better. Anyway, so I'm doing my next coat of the Elaine's. So I like to use a pouncer and pounce it in for the second coat. It helps to continue to flatten out the glitter and by pouncing it in, you really are able to help that glitter to set in very well. And if you have a cup that didn't hold completely well the first time, once you go through after it dries and you pounce in with the pouncer, your second coat will generally always hold really, really nicely. And sometimes on like an acrylic cup or a lesser expensive plastic cup, sometimes you have to do this to get it to hold well. However, comes out really, really nice. And the pouncer helps to make that glitter again very flat. And then after you cover the entire cup, with your glitter mixture, then I'm, pardon me, with your glue mixture, then you're going to do your second coat of glitter again. So it's the same process. You cover the entire cup with glitter, let it dry, or you let your dry, your glue dry for 20 minutes first, whichever way, put it on, and then you burnish it in. Once it's fully dry, then you can do your first coat of epoxy and then your decals and then continue with your epoxy. Now, after I do the last coat of glitter, I do like to use my glue mixture and pounce in over top of that to hold that glue in place really well. All right, so now the cup is covered with the tacky glue mixture. And as you can see, again, we are just covering with the glitter. So this, you can do it either way you'd like. I tend to just pour it on capture my glitter and put it back in. If you prefer to use a shaker, you certainly can. And sometimes I've seen people like that, you know, like to use a sifter with their glitter. I have tried it. For me, it didn't 
make a huge difference for the work it took. However, if that's something that you like, you can, of course, do that as well. And then once I cover the entire cup, I'll put my glitter back. And then, like I said, I will, once it dries, I will burnish the glitter in. And then I will do another coat of the tacky glue mixture over top of the cup with the pouncer just to set the glitter prior to putting it on the spinner. You can see how nice the glitter is covering with this second coat. And it looks really good. All right, so this cup here, it got its first coat of epoxy over the glitter. We did the vinyl decal cut out with the Cricut, as you can see, two-part epoxy, and we're doing very thin coats on here. I used the heating gun to make my epoxy nice and thin before I put it on, so three layers each layer only got about 5 cc's of epoxy, so about 15 cc's total, but it made a nice, smooth, even coat, which worked out really, really well. So listen, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the night. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Please hit the subscribe button and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Bye.